Hi, Saji. Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Okay, Saji, you know the drill. This is a general energy check, not going to resonate with all of you. Take what resonates, discard the rest. Don't try to force it to fit. It will confuse you. If it's not your reading, that's cool. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time in your timeline. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is located in the description box. Okay, Saji, let's take a look at what happened in the past. Okay, we're going to look a little bit into the present and we're going to look into the near future. Okay, the next six months to a year. All right, Spirit. What messages do you have for the Sagittarian Collective that is for their highest good? Thank you. Okay. What's happening presently with Sagittarius? Mm, wow. And what is coming towards Saggy in the near future? what is up baby bye bye spirit please clarify i'll use this deck please clarify cornucopia in reverse sadie i feel like in the past you did not get wish fulfillment i feel like you wanted some things to happen and they did not i feel like things went to shit okay now let's look deeper into that i feel like things just dried up yeah, look, tower moment. Can't make this up, baby. Not today. Not today. Yeah. Saji, some of you, you are dealing with somebody who it doesn't have the best personality, okay? Some of you are dealing with someone who they look good, but they use their looks to get what they want from people, and it's not in a good way, right? Mm-hmm. Manipulative. Manipulative with their actions. Manipulative with their... <laughs> sexual wiles someone just told me about that word <laughs> okay i feel like there was an abrupt ending or an abrupt change here because you realize that nothing if you didn't make some kind of change nothing was going to happen i feel like you could have found yourself in a situation where things were not manifesting they were not moving in the direction that you wanted and you were not happy right uh you could have felt stuck right in a situation or I'm realizing that there was things that you needed to sacrifice, you needed to let go of. Or someone that you needed to let go of. Hmm. Some of you were dealing with someone who would try to bully you or intimidate you or they were abusive in some way. Okay. Someone could have been using you for your finances. Okay. And then you were realizing that you, when you were around this person, you usually didn't have any money. Right. Because they always wanted to borrow money or needed you to pay for something or... You know, but it's like instead of you were dealing with someone who instead of putting things together and growing, there was all they were always about, well, what what can you do? How can you help me out? Right. Spirit, please clarify the falling tower. Please clarify the falling tower. Mm -hmm. OK, look at this. You did not feel free. You felt stuck with somebody. Right. You felt stuck in life. Mm hmm. Some of you could have felt like someone was trying to hold you hostage or hold you prisoner and you had to do something about that immediately. Spirit, please clarify the hangman. Yeah. I feel like you were, in the past, you were. You were stuck, Saji, because you didn't know how to go about doing something. You could have felt like, because um, I feel an undertone of guilt, feeling bad, like wanting to, this is like wanting to break up with someone but not knowing how to do it. So you just kind of stay, but you're not happy with them. Spirit, please clarify Queen of Wands in reverse. So you were, you were just kind of there, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, there it is. For some of you, you believe that this person you were with was the one, and that's why you stuck around for so long. Even though shit wasn't moving in the direction that you wanted and nothing was manifesting, nothing was growing, you weren't getting wish fulfillment, you weren't getting emotional fulfillment, everything that you wanted in the relationship 
sad you weren't getting with this person but you believe that they were the one so you wanted to stick it out okay But there was a tower moment here because I feel like, Saji, you eventually got tired, fed up of not feeling like you could do something or be something or, or have what you want, right? And I feel like this was divine intervention here with the tower, right? Spirit's like, yes, you can. We're going to give you a little push here and show you that if you want something to change, you got to do it. You got to shake a leg, make something happen, all right? It also is a matter of perspective, Saji. I feel like you are looking at something from the wrong angle here. Mm -hmm. It's learning trauma bonding. It's learning not being afraid to walk away from something that's not working. It's learning that love is not supposed to be hard and tedious and full of problems, right? Spirit wanted you to change your perspective, see things from a higher perspective. So you didn't find yourself in situations like this or stay with people that really weren't, they weren't adding value to your life. Hmm. Spirit, please clarify strength. Saji, you're showing up as the fire sign that you are. Some of you, you are a Saji Leo Cusper. Mm -hmm. Or you could be someone who has like all fire in their in their chart or, or mostly fire in their chart. You're fiery, you passionate, baby. Okay. That's why this whole feeling stuck and feeling unmotivated, that's not gonna fly for you. Who <laughs> said you're too passionate for that? Mm-mm. Well, right? you want things to be happening. Spirit, please clarify angel of strength. And you have to love it. Yeah. Mm hmm I feel like you're realizing, yes, wow. Presently, Saji, you are learning that you're supposed to be happy, right? And if someone or something is not bringing you wish fulfillment, then you have no business with them or being in that situation. Okay, I feel like you are learning how to work with other people. I feel like you're learning how to... <laughs> Some of you are... You're meeting new people or you're working with other people that are showing you that not everybody is the same, right? You could have got on a relationship with someone who is not the nicest person, right? And and kind of been skewed or jaded to think that all men are like that or all women are like that. And it, you're realizing, no, you just got to go out and meet new different people, right? Different people create different experiences. Mm-hmm. We got Cupid's arrow. We got Cupid's arrow at the bottom of the deck. Spirit, please clarify page of coins. Hmm. Yeah. I told you. Some of you, you're realizing that you didn't. You left someone because you realized that you weren't in love with them anymore. Okay. Or you real. You realized that it wasn't love. Yeah. Someone could have left a home. Mm hmm. But. You didn't have anything to celebrate with someone. Like I said, for some of you, you believe that this person was like your twin flame or your soulmate. Now you're really, this is spirit saying, look at it from a higher perspective. If someone is your soulmate, okay, if someone is supposed to be the person for you, if love is so nice, why is it hurting so bad, right? Maybe it's not love. What is your definition of love? Spirit, please clarify four of wands in reverse. Some of you are realizing that the person you thought was the one really wasn't. Yeah, look, no, they're not. You got yes in reverse. No, they're not the one for you. Mm -hmm. I love this strength though, Saji. I feel like you worked on your confidence, right? I feel like you finally mustered, mustered all the energy that you needed to walk away from someone or something. Someone, you left a home or you kicked someone out. Because you realize that, that that's not the kind of relationship that you want. Or the, that's not the kind of experience that you want. Spirit, please clarify three of coins. It took a lot of strength. Yeah, look. You kept trying to work on things with somebody and realize that they're not like you. They don't want the same things that you wanted. Right? You guys did not have the same vision. You guys are on two different pages. Some of you are in two very different books with somebody. Right? And it's like, well, if you're with someone and you believe they're the one, then you guys should have... You guys should have some kind of vision together. You guys should have some things that you want together, relationship goals, right? You could have wanted to buy a house. This person was perfectly fine doing whatever they're doing. 
You could have wanted to get married. This person was just chilling with the queen of wands in reverse. This person was not on that, okay? They still wanted to have some kind of level of freedom here where they could... This is like being with someone who, when they're with you, they act like the, you guys are together, but behind closed doors, when you're not around, they're acting single. They're still looking, right? You realize that this person wasn't trying to work. You're there working on things, staying around, hoping that things will get better with someone and realizing that you guys are not the same, right? Mm -hmm. Some of you could have realized you don't even have much in common with somebody. Okay, okay, okay. Spirit, please clarify hostilities. What's hostilities? Sadly, I feel like you're not in love with someone anymore. Mm -hmm. And you, you realize that. Mm. Yeah, look at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you drop some burden here and you block somebody. You're not going towards them. You could have blocked this person on social media from your phone, but you don't want anything to do with this person because you view them as a burden. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, whoever I'm speaking to, you are very um, defensive towards somebody. Yes, you are. You have your guard all the way up. I feel like you view someone as they kept you stuck for a minute and you're not having it anymore. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, boy. Some of you don't come for me, but some of you, the sex was really good. And that's why you stayed longer than you sh you're, you're realizing you stayed longer than you should have. Uh, this is somebody who is evolving and realizing that there's more to relationship than just sex. And lust definitely does not trump love. Spirit, please clarify the magician. Yes. Yeah. You're on a new path here. You're using everything that you have to create something new to move in a new direction. Please clarify. And you're dropping anything and anybody that does not add value to your life. That's a burden. Please clarify. Ten of wands in reverse. People that brought stress and tried to put their responsibilities on you. You're like, no, I have enough on my plate already. Either we're doing something together or you go do your thing and I'm going to do mine, right? You're trusting. I love this, Saji. You're trusting yourself. You're trusting that the move that you're making is right for yourself. You're trusting that the path that you're on is the right one for you. And you are right. You are absolutely right about that. I love that you are protecting what it is that you are creating for yourself now. And you are keeping all of the debris. <laughs> okay. All of the toxicity. All of the drama out. Okay. And the people who bring that. All right. It's like stay the fuck away from me. Spirit, please clarify. Eight of Wands in reverse. Mm hmm yeah you've broken a cycle here yes you have and this is why you're on the right path saji i love that you are ready <laughs> this person from the past tries to come back or anybody that tries to come back that you made a decision okay a conscious decision to let go of you're not it's not oh let's make up and we're gonna be buddies again or get back together you're like no 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 i let this go and it's gonna stay gone you go stay gone Mm -hmm. and you're making sure of that good for you saji you have this energy about you like you don't play <laughs> okay 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 spirit is telling me to do something a bit different here okay spirit what deck what deck So in the next six months to a year, Saji, you are going to have your guard all the way up. Someone or some people may view you as being a bit hostile towards them, but you have your reasons, right? And that's all that fucking matters. Mm, yeah. Yeah. You're not taking no leaps of faith with someone. Saji, you have someone who's going to try to come back around with the same shit. But you're not doing it this time, right? Because you're not going to end up looking like the fool. Mm -mm, not this time around. You're not going to let somebody break your heart, okay? Mm -mm. And put you in third parties and have you looking dumb. You're not doing that. Yes. Oh, boy. Someone is going to end up feeling heartbroken, though. And they are going to end up feeling like a fool. You know what I feel, Saji? I feel like in the near future... Someone is going to realize what they lost. Mm -hmm. 
in you and they're going to be heartbroken. They're going to be bawling all the time. <laughs> okay. I mean like crocodile tears, boogers running down your nose, can't sleep, can't eat. Someone lied a lot and somebody was lying about a third party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. Some of you were dealing with someone who was dead ass, a pathological liar. Mm -hmm. They lied about everything. They lied about who they were when you went, when you met them all the way down to when you left them, right? They were lying, mm -hmm. playing mind games. Yeah. This person is going to end up feeling like a whole fool, right? Because they're going to see that you're not, you're not here for it mm -hmm. and you're not the one, but somebody is going to be crying. I feel like you're going to turn someone down. Saji, you may not do it in the nicest way. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to lie. Some of you, I feel like you're going to cuss the shit out of somebody. Yeah, I feel like you're going to roast them. Yeah, like rotisserie chicken. Mm -hmm. And send them packing, right? I keep hearing, keep it pushing. And they're going to be absolutely heartbroken. They're going to be heartbroken about it. Someone, this person who's coming towards you, they feel like a fool because they, they realize they fumbled the bag. They realize they fumbled... A good person right or they played with the wrong person mm -hmm. yeah yeah look at this look the queen of wands again oh geez for my masculines in this collective remember there's no gender in tarot but there's a for a masculine there's a feminine who is she kind of loose she's not the nicest person she's not the most honest person she doesn't have any drive, motivation, determination to do nothing. She likes to talk about people like someone with not, not the best personality and characteristics. I'm hearing character traits, right? Yeah. They're going to feel like a whole fool because they're going to try to come back around and their tactics are not going to work this time because you're a lot stronger now, right? You're not falling for this. Oh, let's roll around in bed and get back together and you know, you're not falling for any of that anymore. You're a lot stronger, a lot more confident in yourself. And you're happy with the path that you're on. And you're not letting anybody distract you from that or um, create any detours for you that you did not plan. Spirit, please clarify three of swords. This person is going to be absolutely heartbroken and they're going to feel like a fool. I feel like they feel like a fool now. Yeah, I told you, look, King of Knight of Pentacles, you're not going towards this person. You don't want anything with them. Mm -mm. no some of you i just heard waste some of you look at this person like they're like a waste man or a waste girl Swear, please clarify nine of swords yeah ace of pentacles oh jeebus <laughs> this person is gonna be stressed losing sleep bawling because they see that you have planted seeds somewhere else mm-hmm and you've created, you're on a new journey and they're not invited. Yeah. Someone sees that you have, it's like you've been given some, a gift of a new beginning in, um, planting better seeds because before you were trying to work on something with someone that wasn't going anywhere, right? Trying to get your wish fulfillment, thinking that they're the one and you're going to have your home and your marriage and a great relationship or family and nothing was happening. They're seeing, this is somebody who sees that you're going to have it. You're absolutely going to have it. And it's not going to be with them. Spirit, please clarify Ace of Pentacles. And they're going to feel so foolish. Yeah. Yes. Look at this. This is about self-love. This is someone who sees that they can't come and lure you with lust anymore because you love yourself. Mm -hmm. And you don't believe or feel like you need this person in your life anymore, or you need to work on anything with them or have them around in your life in any way, shape or form. I feel like somebody is going to be crushed because you've evolved mm -hmm. and you are no longer the same person that they used to know. Yes. Yeah, um, you're about peace. You want peace in your life. And with the queen of wands, I get it. This person was full of drama, always some shit. And Saji, you're not here for it. Okay. You want peace and quiet. Look how you drop the burdens. <laughs> you're like, you're drama. I don't think so. Right. You love yourself. You're about peace in your life. You're very protective of your peace, your harmony, your balance, your peace of mind and your peace of soul. You're very protective about that. Good for you, Saji. And someone, they're going to be stressed, stressed. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, they are. Can I just get one on Three of Swords because I'm nosy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I told you. Somebody is going to be heartbroken because they see that you are coming from a more authentic space, a more authentic place because you love yourself. Mm -hmm. They see that you are more balanced and you're not here for this. We're together, but we're not together. We're just sleeping together. It's all about hot sex, but there's no real love or intimacy. You're not doing any of that. And this person, they don't know what to do with themselves other than ball. <laughs> okay. Just cry. Mm-hmm. I feel like someone's going to try to come and entice you, Saji, and it's not going to work. For my feminines, same thing, okay? There's no gender in tarot. There is someone here, for my feminines, there is a masculine that moves like a bitch. I'm going to say it, okay? And they do things that, like, low-vibing ratchet females do, all right? And it's not attractive. This is someone that will go talk shit about you and then want to come up and smile in your face and act like everything's cool, want to sleep with you and go around and tell people that they're not with you. If you had children with this person, they would tell other people that they were just with you for the kids. Get out of here with that, man. Nobody's doing that. Okay. And Saji, you definitely are not doing that. Mm -mm. Wow. Good for you, Sagittarius. I love it. Spirit, can I get um, a card of guidance and advice? A card of guidance. and You know what? Let's talk to your ancestors. Let's talk to your ancestors. Can I get some guidance and advice for the Sagittarian Collective moving forward? Thank you. Sagittarius, you're going to, this person is very jealous, by the way. I feel like you already know that. They're going to be very jealous of what it is that you are. For some reason, I feel like whatever it is you're doing now or you're going to be doing in the near future, you don't want this person to know anything about Mm hmm. I feel like you're being strategic in a way by being not advertising or showing too much, not showing your hand too much. Because this person will try to uh, mess it up. Look, you have desire. Mm hmm. Spirit said to go towards the things that you want. Ooh, sacred lust. Yes, baby. Mm hmm. And shine. Spirit, please clarify desire. Spirit wants you to continue to go towards the things you desire. It's your time. We are in 2024, and 2024 is the year of eight, okay? It's the year of karma. It's abundance, prosperity, okay? You reap what you sow pretty quick, right? So I feel like this is why you are making, uh, you're being very aware of the seeds that you're planting and what you're nurturing now, okay? There is a feminine or some feminine sagis. You look good, good. I mean, someone has hips for days, baby. You sexy, sexy. Mm -hmm. There is also a masculine Saji in this collective. You like them curvaceous women, okay? You like hips. Yes, you do, okay? Uh, some of you, you just like the female body, period. Point blank, period. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. Yeah, look, I told you, and you're keeping it to yourself. You're keeping your desires to yourself right? You're not advertising. You're not, you're not going to be posting up certain things on social media or letting everybody know certain things. You're keeping what you really want for yourself mm -hmm. because you don't want, you realize if you, you tell your business to everybody, things don't manifest, right? And sadly, I this is evolution. This is you realizing that not everybody's your friend, not everybody's clapping for you and not everybody has good intentions for you. So it would be wise to just keep your business to yourself and whatever you're manifesting, they'll see it when it's done. All right. Some of you too, intuitively, you, you see what someone's about here, right? You've already, it's some secrets already been revealed. Okay. And you're not lying to yourself about who they are and their intentions towards you. That's why you're not bothering with them. But I feel like there's something that you see you're not afraid anymore to go towards what you want and create what you want. Spirit, please clarify sacred lust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're letting go. You're letting go. Wow, Saji. You're letting go of... Um, okay, you're, you're a fire sign. You're very passionate. Some of you, like I said earlier, 
You were very big on lust over love. As you evolve, as you want more for yourself, you're realizing that you deserve intimacy, right? And lust will never trump love. I feel like you're letting go of that phase in your life, of that kind of energy, being around those types of people, okay? Being with those types of people who it was just hot sex but nothing else, right? They weren't feeding anything else. They weren't pouring to any other cups. Yeah, you're letting go of them, right? Yes, and you're bringing balance back into your life. Some of you, you're realizing your ancestors are saying, continue to do this. This is what's bringing balance. When you drop people that create drama, your life is peaceful, okay? When you work on the, any chaotic um, energy within yourself or conflict within yourself, your life becomes more peaceful, balanced, and harmonious, okay? This is divine intervention here as well. You got temperance, you got the falling tower, and you're showing up in your reading, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Showing up in your reading. Right, letting go, moving on. Someone in this collective, you like this is a feminine energy I'm getting here. You <laughs> you have a lot of you had a lot of passion to give. I feel like you're learning how to direct it towards one person. Okay. Someone you were you like to explore. You could have had one, two men at the same time. Someone like threesomes, man, mas masculine or feminine energy. You could have liked threesomes. Like your, your sex life was kind of wild, right? But that was for that time. This is a new time and you want, you want quiet. Okay. I feel like this is the energy of someone who is like, I don't want the wild bleaching nights and partying and one night stands. And I want to be with my one person whom I love and they love me and we have a great relationship and it's fulfilling, right? You want fulfillment now. Someone is done with being a player or dealing with players. Spirit, please clarify shine in reverse. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Saji, you're in the process of becoming very successful. Your ancestors want you to know that it's in your destiny, okay? You are destined for great things, so don't be afraid to show yourself. Don't hide yourself. Don't um, dim your light. Don't let anyone make you feel like you're not good enough to do something or have something. You show up as someone who's very... Look, you got nine of coins and the empress. What the fuck? <laughs> you're destined for greatness, okay? You're independent. Some of you... I feel like being single for a little bit is going to do wonders for you. Mm -hmm. Just to get people out of your energy. Spirit doesn't want you to hide yourself. Okay. If there's something you want to do, go and do it. Just want to see. Spirit, please clarify nine of coins. Please clarify nine of coins. Mm. Please clarify the Empress. It's like you... Lighthearted. Release the past. Okay, yeah. I, I was right. Saji, your ancestors are telling you not to be continued to have your guard up against people who did not want to see you shine. They did not want to see you grow. They did not want to see you be independent. They wanted you to have some kind of codependency on them. And for whoever I'm speaking to, this codependency was an energy of sex, right? Like you need my love it, right? And it wasn't even love. You're releasing that. Someone's going to be very upset here that you are doing so well by yourself, right? But you are they said you stay in your lighthearted energy. Keep working on the things that you're working on for yourself. Continue to take charge of your life. Okay, continue to boss up. That is their problem, okay? Yeah, good for you. 
Well, okay, Sachi, good baby. This is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. Bye.